alaikum and hi. For today's video, our group is going to explain about determination of vanillin in vanilla essential oils by high performance liquid chromatography HPLC for cake study chemistry 260. First and foremost, we are going to refer to the cake study of determination of vanillin in vanilla of vanilla planifolia and views from Lampung, Indonesia. Next, these are our group members. Vanilla plants belong to the orchid family with more than 100 species known but only 3 species are practical relevance which are Vanilla planifonia, Vanilla thaitensis and lastly Vanilla pompona. The objective of this work is to analyze vanillin in vanilla extract by HPLC method and also to compare the accuracy of the HPLC and ISO spectrophotometric methods. Glucovanillin is hydrolyzed by androgenous beta glucosidase during the curing process to release vanillin. Among the many volatile aromatic compounds of the vanilla extract, vanillin is the most characteristic component of the flavor. The main chemical constituent of vanilla is vanillin which was the first isolated of vanilla. So, the age of vanilla samples was 7 months after the pollination and extraction, used succulation and percolation methods. In this research, the curing technique used three methods which are scalding in hot water, drying in oven and drying in the sun. Moreover, vanillin can be synthesized from readily available materials such as guacol and eugenol derived from cloth oil. The flavor of vanilla extract does vary considerably, depending primarily upon to the country of origin but also upon crop year, curing technique use, storage condition, extraction method and age of the vanilla extract itself. Next, the ratio of the 4-hydroxyl benzaldehyde to vanillin could be used to identify the geographical origin of the vanilla extracts. So, last but not least, the ratio of the 4-hydroxy benzoic acid, hydroxy benzaldehyde and vanillic acid to vanillin in natural vanilla extract were used to confirm the authenticity of the vanilla extract and as useful index for detecting the origin of the vanilla extract. The case study is about high performance liquid chromatography or HPLC. The principle of HPLC is first begins by injecting the solute onto the top of the column. Second, separations occur as the analytes and mobile phase are pumped through the column. Three, each component eludes from the column as peak on the recorder. And lastly, the response of the detector to each component is displayed and known as a chromatogram. So lastly is the instrumentation. First is mobile phase reservoir filtering, second pump, three injector, four columns which is analytical and guard column, five detector and lastly data system. So we're moving on to the concept of HPLC. HPLC is very versatile because of its ability to easily separate a wide variety of chemical mixture which include non-volatile and thermally unstable compounds. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nuri Nuha Bitinazarudin and for today's video, I'm going to mention about methodology. In this methodology, there are three highlighted the procedure in the curing techniques. Let's talk about the sample preparation of vanilla samples. First and foremost, about 1.5 kg of vanilla sample from Kamenin of Sat, of Sat Lampung were cured by first scaling in hot water at 65 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds and is labeled as X1 and B is drying in the oven at 60 degrees for 48 hours and labeled as X2 and the C1 is drying in the sun for 20 days and 2 to 3 hours every day and labeled as X3 and cure vanilla was fermented and dried in the wind therefore the water content in the cure vanilla decreased from around 65% to 30% the sign that vanilla had dried uh, vanilla color was super black or brownish black and shine. The last one is vanilla had characteristic like a strong flavor and fragrance. Then moving on, about 10 gram of the whole cured vanilla labeled as Y1 was wait for the solidation extraction and 5 gram for pre-collation and labeled as Z2. And we use about 10 gram for the solidation extraction of Z1 and 5 gram for the pre-collation of Z2. And both of them were weak. Next, moving on to extraction procedures. The cured vanilla of pre-extraction Z1 in the solid extraction was extracted with 200 ml of the 99.9% ethanol for 16 hours. 
After that, it was transferred into a 1250ml volumetric flask. After that, the flask of the extraction apparatus was rinsed several times with small quantities of 99.9% .9 of ethanol and then the washing was poured into the volumetric flask. Make sure that lastly, it make up to the mark with the ethanol and was mixed and stirred well. Then, then the cure vanilla of pre-extraction Z2 in the, in the per collection was extracted. After that, Z2 was submerged in Erlenmeyer 100ml in 35 milliliter of 99.9% .9 ethanol for one night. After that, the submerged Z2 was transferred into a 100ml volumetric flask through a paper filter. Then, filter paper was rinsed with 5ml of 99.9% .9 ethanol and this paper filter was then stored for use at second filtering. After that, result of the cured vanilla from first submerged was pounded in a mortar then submerged again about 3, 30, uh, submerged again about 35ml of the 99.9% .9 percent ethanol in Erlen Mayer for one night. The process continued after submerged one night. The ethanol from the second submerged was fused with ethanol. Let's moving on to high performance liquid chromatography HPLC of UV spectrophotometric and preparation of standard solution. First and foremost, the vanillin was separated on a reverse phase of C18 column using a methanol acidified water and it was then detected at 280 nanometer and the flow rate of HPLC is approximately 4 ml per minute. Next, moving on, I'm going to talk about the preparation of standard solutions. The standard solutions containing 0 0.5, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 and 4.0 ppm of each standard were prepared in 99.9% .9 ethanol for HPLC. Then, the solution was stored at negative 2 degrees Celsius until required for analysis. Lastly, the standard solution for spectrophotometric containing 1.0 until 5.0 ppm of each standard were prepared in 99.9% .9 ethanol. Table 1 shows the linear regression equations and correlation coefficients are of the peak area measurement for vanillin standard in HPLC technique and of the absorbance in the ISO spectrum photometric assay method. Linear relations were observed when for vanillin standard between 0 and 4 ppm with correlation coefficients of 0 0.9 and 7 at HPLC and between 0 and 5 ppm with correlation coefficients of 0 0.9 and 9 at UV spectrophotometric methods. Table 2 showed that the amount of vanillin for the 12 sample determined by HPLC technique and the ISO spectrophotometric assay method. The 12th vanilla sample was analyzed. The spectrophotometric assay consistently yield higher value than HPLC technique. The possible explanation for this is in spectrophotometric assay method, vanillin is not pure, which is it was mixed with the other substance and absorbed at the same wavelength area. They will cause the high absorption. Even though HPLC used detector UV, the sample goes through C80 column and it was separated before it come to the detector cells. This caused only vanillin which is detected and also indicate re relatively smaller analytically result. However, the accuracy of this method is much better. The use of UV spectrophotometry can be more accurate if a sample gets separated firstly, just as using special chromatography column. This way will obtain the same result as the HPLC method with standard division was less than 1%. The amount of vanillin for four sample determined by ISO spectrophotometric assay yield higher than the HPLC method. Investigation of the recovery process was carried out using the HPLC analysis. Based on the amount that required for vanillin standard, the concentration of vanillin standard is 3.5 ppm. The same condition of measurement, the average analytical result using HPLC is 3.49 ppm. Therefore, it can be calculated that the recovery process obtained is the 99.77%. This result shows that the method that used to determine concentration of vanilla using HPLC is valid enough for the next measurement. 
From the table 2, it can be seen that the highest vanilline content is scalding in the hot water followed with the drying in the oven and drying in the sun. Hi, my name is Shazwani and I will be concluding this experiment. All in all, the objective of this experiment was met. Firstly, the pre-extraction treatment for cured vanilla slice about 2.5 cm resulted in higher vanillin content because there is direct contact perfectly between vanillin component in vanilla sample and extraction solvent. The vanillin content resulted from the salt solutation extraction is higher from the percolation extraction. This occurred because there is continually solvent purity process in the salt solutation extraction. Therefore, the density of the vanillin content in vanilla extract is higher. Next, investigation of the recovery process was carried out using HPLC analysis. Based on the amount of required vanillin standard, the concentration of vanillin standard is 3.5 ppm. In the same condition of measurement, the analytical result using HPLC are as stated respectively with an average of 3.49 ppm. Therefore, it was calculated that the recovery process obtained is 99.77%. Moreover, this had proven that the HPLC method offers a more accurate means of determining the vanillin content of vanilla than the ISO spectrophotometric assay, because by HPLC method, vanillin was separated from other compounds. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.